Hello, everybody. So I've been looking at more AI websites that you can use uh, to help speed up your teaching planning, things like that. One of the things that I do quite a lot is like a little plenary at the end of my lesson is a Kahoot quiz. Or sometimes it's like a mid-assessment, that kind of thing. I also use a Microsoft Forms quiz. So I found this website, which is called Question Well, and it's absolutely spot on for generating all of those multiple choice questions and stuff ready for you. So it'll save the time. You don't have to type any of the questions out into Kahoot. It exports into a format, which you can then just import into Kahoot, and it's all done straight away for you. So it takes a matter of two minutes or less. Let's get started. So all you need to do, it's free to sign up for. You just need to click on Try It Out. You will need to sign up using your email address. I've used my own personal one, but again, you can use your school one if you want. Now, there is a little bit of information that you need to fill in for it to be able to generate these. So I'm going to go for a common one that I teach in computer science, which is secondary storage, something that students often find difficult to remember. So we can hammer them with some quizzes. Now, you've got here like a section for, for like reading. Now, what I've done is this is the specification for the GCSE computer science. So if you've got a specification for, for your subject and you wanna just copy and paste a section out of there, then it should work no problem. So I don't need to worry about any of the bullet points or anything like that. You don't need to edit it for ages. Just copy it, go into question well, paste it in. Don't worry about how messy it looks. And I'm also gonna just paste, because it's quite useful, this required section. I know your specification might look a bit different, but I'm just gonna bang that in there as well. And that's it. If you scroll down, there are options to upgrade and stuff. I found absolutely no need to upgrade. I think it's fantastic the way it is. Uh, and all you need to click on is generate set. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. That one took me about 40 seconds for that to generate. So if you're looking down this right hand side now, we've got loads of questions which are multiple choice. You can see it's got the correct answer in different positions, which will obviously be perfect for your quiz. To be able to export it, you just need to cl click on this box at the top to select all the questions, say you're happy with them. If there's any there that you don't want, you don't need to tick it or you can just untick it. So export, Kahoot, and that's it, it's done. Okay, so to actually import it onto Kahoot, I've got my own Kahoot account so I can create the quizzes. Again, free to sign up for. Click on create and Kahoot. I'm just gonna go for a blank canvas and then click on where it says add a question. So just at the bottom, you can see it says import spreadsheets. Don't need to download a template or anything like that because it's already done for us using question well. So select a file, find your downloaded file, which is automatically done from question well. Okay, so it's imported it, it says it's successful. So I'll just add those 20 questions in that question well's done for us. And that's it. You might need to go back and just delete question one because that was the blank one that we started with. So I'll just bin that one off. Yes. And here's all my 20 questions. So I can save that, give it a good name, secondary storage uh, GCSE quiz. And that's it done. Any questions, let me know.